Hey guys, here we are today with Wade. He uh, owns a couple skitters, is a skitter operator, and we're gonna have him uh, tell us a little bit about them, what they are and what they do and how they work. This is the Cat 518. We previously owned this machine years ago and recently got her back. Uh, we love them, good skitters. They do great work. They're very, they defy gravity in a way where they don't tip over and all that. They got a little 3304 cat engine in them. Little, they run well. So yeah, you drag about four logs at a time with the four chokers. You have to get off and hook them yourself, but yeah, makes you stronger. So what year is this machine you'd this say? This one would be uh, 82, 82 roughly. So we're kind of logging the old school way, but it's yeah. the way we know and the way Back we like. The old school. And these are the chokers right here. You hook seven, you know, if you hook one of these up, and then if you have log left over, you can hook it right here, and that way it don't get hung up under your logs. So like you can drive up the trail and snag another on the way into the landing. So, yeah. Got nice rubber on this machine. So, they, <laughs> The logs tend to chew them up pretty quick out here, but. How much would you say when you're talking logs, like if you had to put a weight to it, how much weight will this thing? Oh, uh, I'm not even sure on the weight. Probably five ton. Wow. Probably. Yeah, so it. it It'd pull 10,000 pounds. It does quick work. Not really uh, sure on the max on the gearmatic winch, what its capacity is, but it'd pull eight, 10,000 pounds probably. Wow. So and that's just a guess. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, yeah, we uh, fathomed this big old rock rake on here to do some slash piling this year. Finish up this timber cell, so hopefully it works out. Heck yes. I think it will. I think that is fantastic. <clears throat> Beast. So, so how high will this lift? It'll lift all the way to the top. Yeah, top of this goes right to the top of there. Wow. So it's three or four feet off the ground. You're going down through the trees. It's also wider than the tires. Yep. <laughs> so when you're dozing stuff, you don't sit there and run over it when you're going, you know, on. Yeah, it should be really efficient. So did you, fa you fabbed it up? Well, <laughs> actually, a construction company I worked for had this laying out back, and I asked them if I could use it, and we welded it on there and we're gonna try her out it's actually for a d6 dozer i was gonna say so this came off a dozer a yeah, d6 it's actually a rock rake for a dozer so well this this does act like a dozer up here this does dozer work oh yeah it'll doze stuff around so we're gonna clean up the forest yes we are cleaning up the forest so you like them so much you have two of them yeah <coughs> recently just got this one back in the fleet back to the family yep. what can you tell us about this one uh same machine exact same machine just without the rock rake you like them that much you bought two of them yeah they're they're way uh reliable yep nice Pro machine proven huh proven. yes well proven oh i see what you mean by being wider than the tire yeah this is for maneuvering in the trees you're out there skidding, you know. So essentially, all the same controls, same exact operation, same. same it's yeah. set up to haul what four logs as well. Yes, we only got one choker on there right now. We got to do a little winch work. So yeah, four logs, same setup. It's the winch. Now, how far will that winch come out? How well, far away can the log be? We're about probably got about 50 yards of cable on this one 75 on that one wow so you so, can go a fair distance yeah throw it over your shoulder and <laughs> head out there if you don't have muscles you will have soon oh yes okay guys that's a little bit about the skitters we're going to be using this season so